What's up everybody? I am going to be eating this DiGiorno pizza that I got from the grocery store. Sorry about the fan noise in the background, but I have to eat in the hotel bathroom because Becca and Nana are out there, you know, noise, TV, etc. I can't get, I don't want to get copyrighted, plus it's just a lot of background noise. Anyhow, I'm going to eat DiGiorno pizza. Sorry for all the chess uploads lately, for those of you who don't like chess. Um, I just played several games this morning on my phone. And I was like, well, I'll upload them. But I couldn't figure out how the, the sound to work on my phone. So, like, all of them didn't have sound. But then I recorded one more this evening on my laptop, which should have sound. So, anyways. Because I know that... Probably the majority of my subscribers don't play chess, so. Mm. You know, honestly, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've worked at six, I believe six, pizza places in my life. And so I've had a lot of pizza. And um, I think I told you guys before, Little Caesars is underrated. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite, but I'd say it's pretty good. It's underrated. But also DiGiorno. This is cooked in the microwave. DiGiorno in the oven is even better. And the stuffed crust is even better. This is just normal. Normal crust. But I think my favorite DiGiorno is probably just the uh, four cheese big pizza cooked in the oven. I think it's also underrated. So I'm eating this, and then I also have a Coca-Cola. I'm gonna open it. I only got one hand free because I'm filming, obviously. I'm sure you guys heard that open. Coke is pretty good. Sometimes, sometimes like I crave it. Other times I'm like, it's just like blah, whatever. I was actually addicted to Coca-Cola in my teen years because my dad would drink Coca-Cola like to the max, like a few two liters every day. Like, and so just from being around it, I mean, I think he gave me Coca-Cola since I was like a little kid. Like, let me try it. And so I got addicted to it at a pretty young age. Probably something psychological because you like something because your one of your parents likes it, or something like that. And anyhow, another prison story for those of you guys who like prison stories. When I got locked up, though, at 18, again being addicted to Coca-Cola. They don't give you Coca-Cola in jail or in prison. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, because I was working in fast food, I was working at Del Taco at the time, so I got free Coca-Cola whenever I wanted. So I was drinking Coca-Cola at the time. Then go from that to getting locked up and getting no Coca-Cola. <laughs> so I didn't like that at all. Bad withdrawals. And like for years, like I just crave it. Like I just like I wanted Coke. And back then, energy drinks weren't like really popular, weren't really a thing. Um, I actually remember I was actually working at Del Taco in Ontario, California. This was maybe 98, 99. And um, I was working the register and a Red Bull guy came in. I had no idea what, was Red, what, Red, what Red Bull was. That was not a thing. That was not a popular thing back then at all, right? Anyhow, this Red Bull guy came in and he was like, hey, uh, you know, you want to try free samples of our product, this and that. I was like, no, 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 no. Because <laughs> people would come in all the time. You know how, like, if you live in the United States, you see signs on places that say, oh, no soliciting? That's why, because literally people, back in, like, the 90s, 80s, whatever, people would literally come to your business or come to your house and literally, like, offer you stuff. Oh, do you want to buy a vacuum? Or do you want to, you know, try Red Bull or whatever? So solicitors would come in all the time, and one day it was a Red Bull guy offered me a free sample. I don't remember if it was like a little cup, or I don't know if, 
He offered me a can. I really don't remember, but yeah. And I thought it was just another, you know, just another person soliciting. I was like, no, 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 get the heck out of here. <laughs> and then, so like I said, I got locked up in 2000. Went to prison for six years. Craved coke the whole time, right? In prison, it depends on what prison you can go to. You can get Coca-Cola, I believe, or other soda. I think they might sell it in the canteen. I don't remember. I think so. Because for sometimes I have to do with Coke. Um, I just didn't have the money for that, though. Um, however, uh, you, you can get visits from your family or whoever on the outside. And once a month, like every month, my dad would come visit me. And in the visiting room, they have vending machines and you can get soda or you can get uh, like hot pockets and you want, they have a little microwave in there. You know, so he would buy it for me and you know, I'd warm it up. Anyhow, so I'd get a soda then. So once a month I would get a soda. And for whatever reason, I would always get Dr. Pepper. Weird, right? Craving Coca-Cola. I could get Coca-Cola, but I got Dr. Pepper. Maybe because it was just different, I don't know. But I would always get Dr. Pepper for some reason. But yeah, great dad, man, great dad. You know, he would always come visit me once a month. I really like no one, in the whole six years, pretty much no one else came visit me. Maybe once or twice, somebody else, but my dad, religiously, every month, would come visit me, even if he was sick, not doing good. Great dad, man, great dad. So anyhow, just went from Zorno Pizza to Coke to Red Bull. Oh, and so I didn't find out again about Red Bull. Uh, I even energy drinks again. And not until like 2015, I worked at Walgreens in like Elsinore. And the boss there, he would have a monster every day. And I didn't know what that was either. I still didn't really know about energy drinks. They were probably more popular by then, but I, I was, you know, I was not hip or whatever. But I remember seeing him. He had the monster drink every day. And then I think not until I started working at Domino's Pizza in 2018. That's when it really started becoming popular, like for teenagers drink whatever and you know there were teenagers who worked in as delivery drivers with me another guy there drunk monster and I can't remember how again I found out about Red Bull when I started drinking like Red Bull and trying other energy drinks and I ended up liking the ingredients and the taste and everything of Red Bull better the rest is history that's my my favorite energy drink now so Coke has gone to the back burner but even every now and again I have coke. So yeah. First time I heard about Red Bull. It was like 98.99, Ontario, California. I just clicked on the screen, sorry. But yeah, 98.99, guy came in. Oh, you want some, you want to try our product? Yeah. <laughs> I drink Coca-Cola, man, and I get free. I worked at Del Taco, I got it for free. I'm not gonna pay for your drink. You get might you get coke for free. <laughs> so I got way off the story, but yeah, I've worked at several pizza places. Papa John's, Little Caesars, Domino's, Marco's Pizza, a really small place called Big T's Pizza, um, Pizza Hut. The worst is Pizza. Hate Pizza Hut. Hate Pizza Hut. They're, all their pizza comes frozen. All the crusts are frozen. Well, DiGiorno's frozen too, but... Well, it's supposed to be, you know, a pizza place, but it comes frozen. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. I hate Pizza Hut. Wait, did I see Papa John's? No, I didn't work at Papa John's. No, no, that's not right. I didn't work, I worked at Domino's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Big T's Pizza, OG's Pizza, I don't know, five or six. I worked at a lot of pizza places. Not Papa John's, but I like Papa John's. Wait a minute. <laughs> I like Giorno. Giorno is better than Pizza Hut. Yeah, I said it. Giorno pizza is better than Pizza Hut pizza. A hundred percent. hundred percent. 
if, matter of fact, if, if I was told, hey, the only pizza you can have the rest of your life is either DiGiorno, whichever DiGiorno you want, or Pizza Hut, whatever you want, 100% DiGiorno pizza. 100%. They treated me like crap there. They have frozen nasty pizzas. All their ingredients come in Pizza Hut. All their ingredients come in bags and nothing is fresh. Terrible pizza place. Pizza Hut is crap. 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 At least the journal doesn't lie. It's like, you know it's frozen. That's it. And it's frozen pizza. You know? No how you put pizza hut they try to make the pizza oh it's so good and fresh and no it's not. It's crap. Crap. I'm too swig and cold for a while, huh? I'm almost done my pizza. Hmm. Another thing you can't get in prison for pizza. However, I was in the last prison I was at. There's two prisons out in Blythe, California. Um, Ironwood State Prison and Chuckawalla. Back then, Chuckawalla was general population prison. Nowadays, I hear Chuckawalla is like a PC prison, like um, for you know tattletales for snitches. It wasn't back then. Anyhow, I've been to both of them. Ironwood was level three, and then when my points went down, I went to Chuckawalla, the level one. I was in Ironwood, yeah, Chuckawalla, level one. And uh wasn't a snitch prison back then, in 2006, 2003, I was there, 2003, 2006, at that prison. Wasn't a snitch prison back then. Anyhow, since it was a level one, I remember every now and again they would have like a pizza sale because in Blythe, because the prison is in Blythe, California. And so there was a pizza place, I don't know, Pizza Hut, Donald's, whatever it was. And so they would allow us to buy pizzas from there, like... I don't remember how it worked, but I just remember sometimes inmates would have pizza. Like every couple months or something. But that was like the only time you get pizza. <laughs> My stories are all over the place. I'm in the clouds and just talking about random stuff. So I didn't have pizza for like six years. I didn't have coke for six years. Dr. Pepper once a month. <laughs> a lot of ramen. Too much ramen. A lot of bread. They feed you a lot of bread in prison. Potatoes. Craft food. Carrots. They give you carrots every day in California prison. They don't give you no steak or nothing like that. That's what I certain. I think you get chicken sometimes. I remember getting chicken sometimes. I don't really like chicken. I'm a bone. I like chicken nuggets. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anyway, I don't even know the title of this video. I played the last video, I just did, I just, I just, on the keyboard, I went, <laughs> whatever letters popped up. I don't know what the title of this video. It's about nothing. It's about Del Taco and pizza and my dad in prison. I don't know. Maybe it's just titled just like Coke or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll think of something. Have another sweet. From the OU, from not the United States. Let's see if I can show you. Look at the ingredients. These ingredients. I know it's kind of blurry, but the first ingredient is carbonated water. But look at that second ingredient high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is crap. If you're from like in Europe or Mexico or like pretty much any other country, there's no high fructose corn syrup. It's real sugar. That's one thing I hate about U.S. sodas and soft drinks because um, corn is subsidized in the United States. And so corn products are cheap. And so Coke and Pepsi and Dr. Pepper, all of them, they use high fructose corn syrup in, instead of sugar in their drinks because it's cheaper. But high fructose corn syrup is bad for your body. I think like your liver doesn't process it right. I, I forget what, it, what the science behind it is. But yeah, so if you drink soda, say you're from wherever, England or whatever, and say you're moderately healthy, and you come to the United States and you start drinking soda and you notice your health getting bad, 
It could very well be from the high fructose, high fructose corn syrup because your body's not getting real sugar anymore. It's getting this crap high fructose corn syrup that your body can't process. That's another reason I don't drink Coke that much. And if I do, I usually drink, you could sometimes find the Mexican bottles of Coke here in the United States or the glass bottles, certain glass bottles. So yeah, I don't drink all the time at all. You should drink Red Bull, which is made with real sugar. Even in the United States, thank you Red Bull for being there. Coca-Cola, shame on you. Shame on you and your high fructose corn syrup just to try to make your product cheaper. But I still like the taste, so I drank it, right? Okay, thanks for watching. Oop, burp, burp incoming. See you guys next video. Let's do it.